20 brand new solar panels, just $87 each. Today we're going to get rid of this 3500 watts of solar array and we're going to be replacing it with right at 7000 watts of solar panels. Right now we have 12 solar panels here and we're going to be replacing it with 20 of these $87 panels here. So we're having to extend our solar racks out a bit. The system we have now runs our off-grid cabin, but when we have four or five cloudy days in a row, it's not quite enough power. Guess where we're at? Sulphur Springs, Texas. Your destination is on the left. Perfect. We're gonna get these panels off here real quick and then we're gonna put our new panels on so that we can double our system. If anybody was wondering, these are just old fence posts that somebody was throwing away years ago. I went ahead and picked them up. I mean, why not? You can always use them for something, right? One week later. $87 for a 375 watt solar panel? Are you serious? We're upgrading from these 12 panels at 3500 watts to the 20 panels at 7000 watts. And today I have my son with me to help me install these, so we're going to get this done very quickly. Okay, we have all the solar panels now laid onto the solar racks. All we need to do now is mount them to the solar racks. Okay, so we were first using these brackets made by EcoWorthy, but uh, it's not working good out here on these poles that we made. Uh, in order for us to mount these panels correctly and make them look good, we're going to be using these straps. This is what I used before, and uh, they lasted on here four or five years without any problems, and they hold it down pretty well. As good as this little aluminum crap right here will. All right, so underneath here we are wiring these solar panels here, positive to negative and positive to negative. It makes it really easy and uh, saves on wire. You don't really have to run any wire under here. They just, one panel runs to the next. Here's our eight gauge negative wire. 
I'll leave a link in the description for this wire. This wire ran about $170 for 200 foot. Okay, so we just dug up the little trench here to put the negative cable, so we're gonna get that knocked out now. As you can see now, we got everything buried here underground and it looks pretty good. Just have to wait for the grass to grow back over it. Okay, so we went ahead and used eight gauge wire, although this is only about a 25 foot run. Decided to try to get as much power out of these panels as we can by running this larger gauge wire. Okay, so we have our two strings of solar panels running up to two separate disconnects here. They're running out of the disconnects now and they're going right here into the bottom of this distribution box and they're tying into the PV wires that run up here to the inverters. So I'd have to say the solar is doing uh, more than I expected. It's really cloudy out here this morning and uh, I'm getting 1200 watts in. It's kicking up now, 1200 watts here, a thousand watts here. So there's a couple thousand watts coming in now and the sun just barely creeped out of the clouds there for a second. Yeah, I think this thing's gonna push some serious power here in a minute. I mean, it's still eight o'clock in the morning on a cloudy day. I mean, it's 8.45 in the morning now. Sun is uh, starting to be on the panels a little bit here. We're still behind the clouds, but uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, so we got 1500 watts there. We had about 1500 there for a minute, 15 and uh, 1200 there, so about 2800 watts. All right, it is 9.30 in the morning and we are sitting at right at 1800 watts on this inverter and right at 1100 watts on this inverter. So that's around 2800, 2900 watts right now. So I think the difference in the wattage on the inverters is the top set of panels here have the 1800 watts coming in and the bottom set here is just right at a thousand but we have these trees here that are still kind of blocking a little bit of the panels you probably can't see it on video but they're shading the bottom of the panels here just a tiny bit so i think that's the issue there once the sun gets up directly over them we should be able to see an even amount of charging all right i'm back over here checking it it's right at 10 a.m we got 2090 watts coming out of there and over here we got 1240 watts coming out of here that's still only giving us just a little over 3,000 watts. So I still want to wait for the sun to clear the trees and see what the max potential of the solar panels are. All right, now it's 10.30 a.m. and we are at 4,400 watts. Check back here in a little bit. Well, it's like 11.30 and we're fully charged now. The batteries are topped off at 100%. They were actually all the way down to about 10% this morning. So that means that it, uh, with ease, charged up uh, 200 amp hours of server rack batteries here in uh, you know less than like four hours. So yeah, I'll leave links in the description to the inverters that I used, the solar panels here, and the eight gauge wire that I installed the panels with. So the next thing to do for this system is going to be to upgrade the batteries. We're going to actually go from 200 amp hours to 400 amp hours. That'll be coming up in the next video here pretty soon. Okay, well thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.